You know, we got Buck Days going on right here in Corpus Christi, and we're taking you there live from the PBR Velocity Tour finals happening tonight and tomorrow. Paula Salazar is there to give us a sneak peek. Look at that bull watching you. I know it just scared me just a moment ago. I was taking a selfie and then it rushed the fence and I thought it was going to break through the fence. It wasn't, but uh, that's right, Sierra. We're outside the American Bank Center. It's all for Buck Days and more importantly for PBR Velocity Tour finals. Those are going on. There's going to be five riders that are going to be able to punch their ticket onto the world finals and they're going to be joining 35 others that have already done so. Now joining me now is LJ Jenkins. He's a stock contractor and you're in charge of getting the bulls to uh, choosing the bulls and getting them here at uh, a facility in an event like this. Now we talked about the bulls. We talked about the bull riders in the last hour. Let's talk a little about this flank rope. This is what actually goes around the bull. How is it attached? Let's clear up a big misconception right now. Yeah, basically a flank rope. Um, at the end of the day, a bull's got to want a buck. I mean, you're not going to make him, but I don't care what you do. So these, the, these bulls are bred into them. It's their bloodlines. And all this flank does is, is it goes around their hip area. And I kind of like to call it like a tickler. All it does is tickle them. And that's what gets the bulls to kick out over their head. Uh, without the flank rope, they're, just, they're, they're not going to kick. They're just going to kind of run away from the bull rider. But this is making the bull kick. Uh, it's not hurting him. It's a cotton rope. I mean, you can do whatever you want with it. Uh, and uh, it's not yeah. attached. It's to not it, attached like... to nothing. Uh, as soon as they get done bucking, we take it off of them and they go about their business. And we were talking during the break. These are the elite athletes of their breed. I know another misconception is maybe some of these bulls are uh, mistreated. They're pampered. They're well pampered after events like this. Yeah, I mean they're they're like family to us. Whenever we're at home, we're we're taking the best care we can. They they're on a daily routine, fed twice a day, supplements. Um, you know, I think I think my family probably will take better care of them than, than they do myself sometimes. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I mean they're it's a it's a family deal, and we all we all strive to make sure they're in the best shape and they're getting taken care of the best they can. And you've been fortunate enough to have a, a, a long a good bull riding career and even longer career as you uh, join the ranks of a, a stock contractor. How has business been in this pandemic and food costs and all that stuff going up? How, how has it been for someone like you? It's still going, you know, we're, we're still bringing the best bull, bull riding to town and uh, the fans are still coming out and supporting it. So as long as, as long as we can keep coming and fans will support us, we're, we're going to keep bringing it, bringing it to you. Now what's next for you? Where will you go next? The PBR World Finals in Fort Worth next weekend. And you're going to bring another set of bulls. Yeah, I'll bring I'll bring a, a set of older bulls that got qualified to go to the PBR World Finals, and uh, you know just go and watch somebody get crowned a, a world champion. There you go, and probably win a bunch of money. And uh, this has been all part of the Sunrise team coverage, showcasing Buck Days and the PBR Velocity Tour.